what we call this in English. Do you know what we call this in English? The name of it. Lingo, I'm sorry. It's a cocoon. You're right. Yes, cause I want a cocoon and yes, cause. <laughs> Do you guys know? Okay. Can't can't repeat dictionaries kind of some so we can try and find it in the dictionary. Cocoon. What does cocoon start with? Who can tell me? C. With a C. With a C. So I'll have to look at the words that begin with C. And then what's the next letter? O. C O. Cocoon. Hmm. I'm at L. Do I go forward or go back? C O. Okay, got it. Nant cocoon. Can you read for us? I can never eat cocoon. Yes, cause I eat him. Do you think we can see through the cocoon? Yes, yes, yes. Who says we can see through the cocoon? Who says we can't see through the cocoon? And what does everyone else say? We don't know. Because I saw only four hands up. Who says we can see through the cocoon? Put your hand up if you say we can. Tell me, put your hand up if you say we can't see through the cocoon. Okay. The guys who say we can't see through it are right. But here, they've made it look like we can see through because they want us to see that inside there is a butterfly. There is a butterfly, but it's not see through. It's like this. You can't see what's happening inside. Ne? Okay, so on this picture, what's happening? Hmm, hmm, hmm. what do you think is happening in that picture? What do we call this thing? Butterfly. What's happening to the butterfly? Uh, can you say that louder, please? It's coming out. The butterfly is coming out. It's coming out. What is it doing here? It's floating. Ah, your hands up, please. I see. I see. Will you tell? He is walk. He is walk. Okay, he's walking. He's ready to do what? Fly. He's ready to fly. fly. Good. Okay, let's now read what it says. A butterfly lays lots of very small eggs. It usually lays the eggs on a leaf. Why do you think it lays the eggs on a leaf? Aza? Because the, when the babies are getting out to the egg, they, they, they want to eat some leaf. They want to eat the leaves. Can you tell me what do we call babies that come out of a butterfly eggs? What do we call them, Amel? We call them? <laughs> Who wants to help Amel? Nangamza? Caterpillar. What do we call them? Caterpillars. And did you hear that? What do we call the things that come out of a butterfly's eggs? Well, Amel, I was just saying it now for you. Who can remember? What do we call? And then, listen to Oindan because you're going to have to repeat. Yes, you were just saying it now. What is it called? Caterpillar. Yes, it's a caterpillar. Well done. After about 10 days, the eggs hatch into caterpillars. The caterpillars eat a lot. They grow very quickly. Why do you think they grow very quickly? Sima? Because they eat a lot. Because they eat a lot. And what would happen to you if you ate a lot? You grow. You would? Grow. Would you grow taller or would you grow fatter? <laughs> and that's the same thing that happens to the caterpillar. To the caterpillar. The caterpillar then makes a cocoon. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar grows wings. What are wings? Yes, cause. Gama pico. Gama pico. Okay, after about two weeks, a butterfly comes out and it shakes its wings and flies away. Can you show me if you were a butterfly, how would you come out of your cocoon? Like this? How would you come out of your cocoon? So you, would, you would be? Squashed. What would you be? Show me what you'd look like if you were squashed. It would look like this. And what would you need to do? Push it. What would you need to do? Push. Push out of the cocoon and then? Shake your wings. And, and do what first? Shake. Shake. shake your wings. Why would you shake your wings? Well, okay, put your hand up. Put your hand up. Why would you want to shake your wings? I want one. Because I want to make my wings to fly. You want to make your wings? Fly. Ready to? To fly. How do you think it, when it comes out, do you think it's, what do you think it is? What? Funny. It is? Funny. Funny. What else? 
What? Wait! Have you ever seen a chicken come out of its shell? No. No? Who's, who's seen a chicken come out of its shell? I have because I live on a farm. And when it comes out, it is wet. So she is right. When the butterfly comes out of the cocoon, it is wet. It is wet. So first it needs the wings to do what? To fly. Shake them to make them warm. To, to shake them and make them warm so they can fly. So they can fly. Okay.